Welcome back everybody, this is Mog with Mogscast, and today we're going to be actually testing out my shuttle that I've been working on uh, to actually send up into space. It's kind of like a crew transfer station delivery system thing. Anywho, uh, what I'd like it to do is function similar to what the, uh, what is it, the Voyager shuttle? No, that doesn't make, no. Um, Discovery? Shuttle Discovery, I think? Um, the one that uses to shuttle people up? Uh, or shuttle supplies and whatnot, or did, was used for that when uh, NASA was still doing that crap, and then they have since stopped. Um, anywho, whatever, that's what it's designed around, is the U.S. shuttle. Um, it's already out on the runway here, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. I've tried a few different inter iterations of this, which I'll probably show you guys, but this is the one that I've mainly settled on. Uh, it's a three-person cab, and it seems like we got Kilroy and Black Death again, and Matwin, so apparently your clones are up and active. So good job, guys, I guess. So there we go. Start that. I don't need those just yet. So here we are. We're going to take off. This is the, the main shuttle that I've been working on. As you can see, it's I mean it's kind of the similar design. There's definitely some differences, obviously, but that is the general consensus. And I think I figured out why this takes off so slow, and I have to adjust some things. I learned learned some things just the other day. Um, whoa. But yes, this thing actually glides really good, which is exactly why I wanted it, so that it could come back down to the Atmo with minimal fuel and actually just glide into a landing position. As far as actually landing on the runway, that is something I have yet to be able to effectively plan and do with any sort of return shuttle. So that may be some goals in the future for my program. But for now, what we're going to do is just kind of test its ability to land on a runway. See how, how well it handles in precise maneuvers like that. Because I haven't done much of that. But it does glide pretty darn well, which I guess I can show you guys. We're up high enough. Readjust this. And engines are off. And as you can see, some of those are clipping through. I think that's part of my graphic settings. I need to fix that. When I get too far away, like level of detail and stuff just kind of drops off. Anyway, stop it, I say this. No, no, don't roll. You're gonna lose it. You are gonna lose it. Nope, screw it. Too much at risk. Shoot. Sorry guys, your clones might kick it here. Maybe. Ah. Uh, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Okay. We're good. We're okay. We're all right. Maybe I'll have to modify this a bit. Anywho, let's go ahead and just get out to the runway and do that. Nope. This thing does like to nose up, though. Um, but yeah, got that SAS locked in. So what we've got here at this point is uh, it does have a docking node. But I have yet to actually be able to test its balance in space with RCS, so I don't know if this is actually going to work. The center of mass is about right here, roughly, so I don't know how much that's going to work with such an uneven body. But yeah, there's the uh, docking node that I'm using. It is a hidden docking node, Mark III, which isn't part of the stock game, but was part of TT's Mark III expansion mod kit. As same with this rocket um, fuel. Uh, fuselage. And then there's the standard one with extra liquid fuel for just my jets. And these also have liquid fuel too. This is the only one that has an oxidizer. Oh, except for in here. Those two, t that one tank is oxidizer on both sides, the blue one. The yellows are my mono. Um, okay. Sounds probably good. Okay, SAS, don't be a jerk. Try this whole gliding thing again. And I 
don't think it's gonna work. Oh. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, so this thing doesn't glide as well as I thought it did. wanting to pull. I don't know. No engine. Oh, duh. Precision controls aren't on. No wonder this thing's going crazy. That's why I'm having trouble gliding it. I do need my precision controls. And this is avionics uh, SAS, so I can actually pull and make small corrections, which is what I'm doing now. I'm slowly pitching up, slowly. And what this will allow me to do is actually bring up my trajectory, hopefully, with my wings and the lift, to hopefully get it right on this line, which means I won't be losing any altitude. We shall see what happens, because I think I'm still dropping. Yep. Screw it. I don't even care. We're just going to go land this thing. Because that's what you guys all want. This is boring. You don't want to see me fly the shuttle. Well, maybe you do. But yeah, this is the one that I built. <coughs> Hopefully good enough to get us back from space. I do kind of want to make some modifications. I've tried doing things so I can. Uh, I got the um, the crew cabin expansion by the same mod guy, I think. Uh, TT. I don't remember what it's actually standing for, but it's in my mod list on the forum post, which there is a link to in the description if you're curious. So go check it out. Um, but yeah, I did one with the crew cabin, which holds an extra six. That was the goal, is actually get a cabin up, or a, a ship up, that can be used to shuttle pe a lot of people at a time. Now, I am working, because this will be nice for getting people up from the surface of Kerbin, new Kerbo knots and whatnot. But for transferring people around, all I have is the ships that I have up in orbit now. So what I was going to do is build like a space bus, which bigger capacity for crew and then it would have decent efficient engines to get it from one place to another uh, up in zero gravity up in the uh, in the up in space so that I could transfer crew around um, on the different stations uh, shuffle crew for doing different missions like if you guys wanted your your, your pilots to get a certain mission like I want to be the first to go to Minmus I want to be the first to go to Duna I would like to be on the crew that establishes the station around Duna, or whatever, then by all means. I would definitely work on that, and that's what that would be used for, is transferring crew around so that stations weren't left empty-handed, or that, uh, you know, we at least had some stock pilots around. Ooh. Ooh, rough. Rough, 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 rough. Well, guys that was my first shuttle which is the main one I think I'm actually going to be modifying and using so for now we're going to go ahead and end this flight and I'm going to show you the other one that I was messing with that actually has the crew box on it the crew uh, cabin and uh, I'll show you what it does so this is the longboat shuttle mark 1 and that's the one we just flew I've got the Mark II, which I think is a slightly modified version of this, and then I have a Serpent Longbow, which is another one I modified. So yeah, this one has the crew uh, cabin. Mostly everything else is the same, except I added these extra uh, jets here, the extra jets here on the wings, to provide a little bit extra uh, thrust. Now, let's see, I want to take a look at my Serpent one, because I forgot I had this until I was copying over files. I don't remember what's different about it. 
Oh, this is kind of the midway point between the Mark 1 and the Mark 2 that you guys just saw. Um, it has these ones out, out here. But, uh, did they get fuel? Uh, I'm gonna fix that real quick. Just real quick. And then we're gonna take this thing out for a quick fly. Oops. There we go. Okay, now those should definitely get fuel. And let's take a peek at the action groups. That's one for that. Two is these guys. Yes, yes, yes. And the sets there. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and launch. Let's see what happens. Now this might be a good in ammo flyer overall. We'll, I guess we'll see. Kilroy, Matwin, Black Death, you guys are all alive again. Oh, I guess I didn't kill you last time. You're lucky. Oh, that's right. This is what happens with this thing. This goes wobble crazy. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Don't worry, guys. I got you. I got you. I got you. Don't even worry about it. I got you. Nope. Okay, I killed you. So be it. That's what you get for flying such a terrible plane. How could you guys not check things? Like, it's structural stability before flying this. I can't believe that. That's just, that's gonna be hundreds of thousands of dollars down the drain. Why would you guys do that to me? Here is the Mark II. This one I think is a little bit more stable. But we shall see. Mitri, Freddorf, and Lodius. Oh, this one still has my Buron arm that I was gonna keep on here. Um, we'll see. We'll see if that, if that happens. Who knows? Now, I think this has enough thrust for these four engines to not need that, that uh, turbo spike. Turbo spike. Okay. Lights. Pull up. Pull up. I think my mistake here, guys, is putting my gear too far back. Nope, I'm gonna need that. Turbo thrust, that turbo spike. That's the issue with this, it's just too damn heavy. It doesn't maintain altitude without that turbo thrust, or that turbo spike, I don't think. Unless I can maybe get it up to higher ammo. Let's try that. Or a thinner ammo. Climbing. We're climbing pretty well. Shut that off, see what happens. We are dropping, but it's starting to kind of slow. So maybe for initial lift off, this thing is uh, a little tricky. That's all. Yeah, it's gaining speed again, so that's good. Uh, one thing I've noticed in what spins out most pilots is getting their their vessel pointed too far away from their trajectory. That is what will spin out most planes. Because then you're, you're, you're still moving in one direction, but your, your, your ship is tilting another, and the wind just destroys you, basically. It just starts pushing you all around. And that's what kills most planes, is uh, getting too far off of that, off of that point. And that uh, is something that I'm guilty of, too, of course. As you could tell by watching. Obviously. Oh, it's got these front thrusters so that when I'm up in zero, uh, or well, up in space, I can use these to, instead of having to turn the whole ship around, I can just use these to slow myself retrograde. Okay, so we're gonna try and glide this thing in. I don't know how this is gonna work. I don't know if it's gonna work. We shall see. But I'm going to attempt to glide down to this. will involve a nosedive first to gain speed and lose altitude. 
So the reason I've got this tilted a little bit is because it's actually going to start turning me slowly as I descend uh, toward the runway. And I don't want a sudden turn, I just want a slow turn. And that's what will happen when you, t when, you, when you actually tilt or roll your aircraft, because then the, the lift is being directed in a different direction. Directed in a different... ha 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 ha. It's being pushed in a different direction, which will actually manipulate the way your ship, the trajectory your ship is on. Something to keep in mind, you aspiring pilots. I don't think I got this lined up good. Let's try this. Okay. So as you can see, the trajectory actually is lifting. So uh, that means that my wings are doing their job. I can actually, if I'm paying attention to it, I can I can glide this thing. Hmm. I wonder. Maybe I will actually use this design. Who knows? It's heavy as shit. Pretty hard to control. No, up, you freak. Ship. It does like dropping like a rock. No. Nope, 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 nope. Not enough. I would, this thing would have to have fuel to come in for a landing. Otherwise, it just drops. Which is no good, obviously. Uh, put down my gear. I've got lights on. Okay, so I am going to still utilize a little thrust on this landing, just to hopefully keep things going forward. To make sure that okay, that I'm not using losing too much, losing and using too much that would not be good. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Nope. 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 nope, 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 nope. Well, guys, as you can see, my shuttles need some work. So any suggestions, um, tips, tricks for building a shuttle design like this to ferry passengers up and back would be well appreciated. So if you guys have any tips, links to other videos, um, go ahead and drop them in the comments. Uh, I would be much appreciative. And guys, that's going to do it for this episode. We will see you guys next week. And cheers.